We sought refuge in a picturesque town on the banks of a river fed by snows from the Rotang Pass. Here at the extreme western end of the Kulu Valley, set amidst tall pine woods, is the mountain hamlet of Manali, an ideal place to relax before the journey into the mountains. This is Manali in northern India. As you can see behind me, not exactly a typical ski town, but we're at the foot of the Himalayas and we hope to get some incredible skiing. I remember when we first arrived in Manali, it was really cool to finally be in a ski town. You know, Manali's like the whistler of the Himalayas. Revered by the native people as a place of legends, Manali means the home of Manu, father of humanity. Snow arrives in November and stays on the streets of Manali until late February. Though only at an altitude of 6,000 feet, this small mountain village remains cold all year. Even so, Willie, Brad, and Mike discover a warmth in the wonderful people who have flourished here for generations. If there's a ski resort in the area, Warren Miller film crews will find it. So we hitched a ride to meet with a local ski celebrity. Murli Dar, a member of the Indian national ski team, has been skiing and coaching the local kids of Manali for the past 23 years. Skiing in India is uh, it's different than any other place in the world. There are lots of uh, ski areas around here to ski. And now I'm in a national team. I've been skiing for Asian Games and Winter Olympics, and really I'm having fun, and I look forward for my younger kids to be a really champion. On a neighboring mountain flank, skiing is growing and thriving in a country where no Westerner would expect to find it at all. Painted snow, ski gates, and a finish line were the last things we expected to see in India. Yeah, when we arrived up in uh, the ski resort at Manali, uh, they actually had the Indian National Ski Championships going on that day, believe it or not, it was just by fate we were there on that day. And uh, they had gates all set up and they had racers on all this equipment from like the early 70s. Using old equipment by America's standards, Indian athletes ski more from instinct than imitation while competing in friendly races. There was, you know, thousands of people watching them and cheering them and, and yelling and screaming. And we got, torn, you know, sort of pulled into it and did the same thing. It was quite an experience to see how the competitiveness exists over there as it does anywhere else. Skiing in Manali is a community event. Even when falling, their focus is less on winning and more on just having fun. People of Manali were probably some of the most excited crowds on skis ever. They were up there, they were turning, they were yelling, they were cheering. I think it was a big part of their life. <laughs> 